Dan the Wild Birdman here, and I have an awesome unboxing for you guys today. So this is the HMS System Dracil, as you can see in the packaging. This is the Takara Tomy version from Japan, and it's even cooler because I actually won this at a Beyblade tournament, right? I went to the tournament, I think there were about like 25 people there, well there had to be an even number because it was a doubles tournament. I met up with another guy, we just came up with a good strategy we synergized and we made it all the way and this was the prize i'll show you guys the uh beyblade i was using i was going with wind lucifer armor is 10 illegal bearing mobius so just had a lot of stamina and it just it worked really well considering that there were four Beyblades in the ring, so you know that's a lot of friction, so you really got to be able to take a lot of hits. So, yeah, that was just <laughs> good, good tournament, man. Like, everybody was super friendly, everybody was super cool. Um, and before I get into the box, I actually have to get into the launcher and the winder, because my friend chased me down the street holding this going you forgot your ripcord i'm like ripcord it doesn't look like my ripcord but he explained to me that the ripcord in this box is broken right it comes broken because it's been smashed in there for like 20 years so it looks like this right i wanted to show it to you guys anyways because i love this design i love the grip because it's it's big right like i have adult size hands and it's like it's so comfortable right like there's a lot of space for your fingers i feel like i'm flipping you guys off with a dry pasta noodle sorry for that <laughs> but what i want to do with it is i want to somehow maybe use paracord or like kevlar string to kind of like rig these holes to where i can like use it with a string launcher and it'll be really cool so we'll see and uh, this is the launcher, which actually on the end, it has a tool. And you can kind of see how these are the predecessor to the metal fight tools. Sorry, the only one I have is clear at the moment because, you know, not too many of those left now, are there? Anyways, let's get into this bad boy. So there's the packaging. I love what they did on the top with the stats. There's Dronzer. There's Drasil, duking it out on the top. This reminds me of how they do Pokemon stats, and so I love it. But I'll show you guys like the, the stats. is all in Japanese. You guys can pause if you want to read these more. Um, not really much on the bottom, but just in case you guys wanted to read it, I guess. But um, everything in the box is basically in this little case. Right. It reminds me of a cassette tape, really. Um, but before I open that, I want to show you guys all the little instructions and stuff. I'm going to go over them super quick, you know, just because they're in Japanese, so you can't really read them anyways. But here's the sticker sheet, and there's like a little teeny tiny sticker sheet somewhere in here. I may have dropped it on the floor, but um, never mind that. Anyways got this and this explains like how the the uh, bit protector fits onto the Beyblade and it's honestly if you look at the design you can kind of see you know how it transitions from like you know plastic gen to metal fight and then to burst you know how things all lock together and here's the big instruction sheet and I really like this because it looks like a blueprint when you look at all these different drawings and it shows you you know that this is in fact a dual spin Beyblade and that's why it comes with that um, LR launcher but you know you guys have eyes there's Max giving the thumbs up because he's excited that you bought his Beyblade <laughs> all right and this this I love this case I think I'm just gonna keep it in this case because it'd be easier to organize can you imagine if Beyblade still came like this they're probably way more expensive. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and so we open this. I'll do like that. Here is the blade base. It's got kind of like a little bit of a sharp tip to it. Yeah, I'd say it's probably like the, oh, the 
the memory escapes me, but it's the tip that came on Sagittario. I think it's just the spike tip, but I could be wrong. And of course we have the metal weight disc. I like how round this is. You know, I, I, I see kind of a theme here, right? I, I like smooth things for airflow. Alright, and then we've got the attack ring, and you can see how it looks like turtles. I really just, I love the design of Drasil. And this, this part here is like real metal, so this is actually really heavy. Alright, this is probably... Mm, I don't know. I, I need to get me one of them fancy scale things. I feel like I'd only use it for a small amount of time. And here is the bit chip. You can see it's inscribed with the Drasil logo. It's really hard to see. It's pretty faint, but it is there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this together. So you see this chubby tab here goes into this, this bigger slot. Slide it on like that. And of course there's two sides to this. One side is flat. The other side is kind of like pressed in a little bit. You want the flat side to go up towards the ceiling. So we put it like that. And then of course, same principle here. You know, there's a big side and a slim side. So you want to like put it in there like so. Kind of hard to do when you're on camera as you guys know. And when you put the bit protector on, you want to make sure it's parallel with the green spikes. So, I feel like I'm doing this in the mirror. There you go. So there, it clicks on like that. And then you have to twist this on. I'm probably not going to do it all the way just because I don't want the plastic to break. But you twist it on with this tool. And it honestly feels like a metal fight bait blade, right? And for comparison purposes... I actually have Counter Leon, and they're about the same size. Like, here they are, like, one on top of the other. So, I I can really see, like, the evolution of the design for um, Jaseel and Leon, right? They're the same shape, similar color. And uh, here he is in comparison to the Beyblade Burst Jaseel just because that's probably what you guys are most familiar with. So this feels huge in comparison to this one, right? And here it is next to my launcher grip, just in case, you know, because you guys probably have one of these, and that'll give you a good idea of just how tiny this thing is, but it's chunky. Like, let me tell you, this thing is, like, solid. Like, this actually weighs much more than this. I'd say, like, maybe two of these would be the same weight as this guy. So this is a super cool Beyblade. I'm really stoked to have it in my collection. I think I'm just going to keep it mint, you know, maybe display it in my room because it's kind of a treasure to me at least. So yeah, appreciate you watching. Good luck out there and I'll catch you in the next one.